March Lund, just a guy trying to help out some monarch butterflies, and recently I did an AMA request and results video. Well, two videos. I certainly tried to answer as many questions as I could, but with time constraints, only so much can be done. Still, there was one question from Sarah Rice, 2176, that asked if we could test for OE parasites just with the chrysalis casing that the monarch had enclosed from. Not exactly worded that way, but you get the idea. What a great question. I never really thought about doing it. So I love it when this happens. I got really curious immediately. While it is a downside that I am encountering a little bit more OE in my new location, let's try to take advantage of it when and where we can. So of having taken in some wild source caterpillars this summer from various locations, I was running into a little bit more OE than I normally had in previous areas. But the footage speaks for itself. Let's let it talk. Here we go. All right. Took this in here for... Uh filming purposes. Getting a little loud out there with uh, some dragster cars. Woodward Dream Cruise is coming up here in Detroit. Anywho, the one there that's got the white clip, that's one that was kind of turning colors. It was quite sus, as the kids say, for possibly having some OE. The white clip to me meant it was white hot with a chance for it. Um, it just was looking bad. And also, I had known that that was a wild sourced caterpillar as far as I found him out in the wild as a caterpillar already. So no bleach treating that I did would have been able to help him out as far as if his egg already had spores on it. Now that one was suspicious, but uh, so is this one here. Uh, the red one next to the white clipped one was also one I signified as being changing a little bit different, but also it was also wild sourced the same location, same spot just about that I got the white hot one. And I just had two that were heavily infested. So let's check and see if they came out of these two chrysalides. All right, so here's the white hot one. We're gonna check that one first. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like through just this little handheld microscope. These are something that you can get, different varieties, different brands. They're anywhere affordable from like $8 up to $20 or even higher depending upon features. This one cost me about 12 bucks, I think. And just so we're clear, it's capable of 20 times to 40 times the magnification. And you can indeed see the spores through it. Let's check and see. Now, in all honesty, too, this one's pretty heavily infested to the point where, like, you can see, just especially in this midsection, just those dark blotchy shadow areas. And all those are collections of a lot of OE spores. So you don't even need a really a microscope for this one, but let's show you what it looks like. All right, let's see what we can see. And just here with the handheld microscope, all those little dustings, those there are all OE spores. Just looking at that part right there, I want to see what's what's this look like. Oh yeah, that is a gnarly amount of OE spores. Just a crazy amount. Just a crazy amount. Heavily infested. Just all throughout the casing. All right, let's see this, what it looks like under the big microscope. All right, so this is from the more deluxe laboratory tabletop microscope, and we can see plenty of OE spores there, oodles. It does appear to be the same magnification as with our handheld, so let's try to see how this looks with even stronger magnification. All right, now this is at 100 times the magnification, so at different focal lengths all along the interior three-dimensional shape of the chrysalis casing, here are those OE spores. Ooh. Definitive results. All right, here's the other one that was suspect, and let's check it out with the handheld microscope. Oh yeah. 
this for sure. And also the OE spores, they occur on the abdomen. So I got an idea. Since the spores are definitely on the abdomen, well then really, we probably only need to check this part of the casing. Right up here, the part that's actually hanging, that's of course where the abdomen is for the butterfly, so we should expect remember the stem layer of the chrysalis. If we've got always spores, as we know the white one did have, and so does the red one. We might be able to just check that casing part to really get a good idea. Oh yeah. Pretty easy to detect them here. So right up here by where the stem is. That's all I was really checking there. That's probably a good location. If you want to just do a spot check as far as where to chest every time. And that part does break off of the chrysalis pretty easily. spores indeed. Well there you go. Can you test for OE spores with just a handheld microscope and the actual casing? Yes indeed you can, but still I personally don't know that I'd want to trust this 100%. For light infestations it could be a little bit more difficult to try to find the spores off of the casing. Don't exactly know. These two were just heavily infested. I hope this video is of interest to you and helps you out in some way. And thank you again very much, Sarah, for the excellent question. Thoroughly deserving of an episode for sure. I'm Rich Lund. Thanks for checking this out. See you next time.